Oh, hi there! This is T.R. Kelly for Stagecoach Road Sewing Machine. And boy, do I have a really cool one for you today. This is a not very common Singer 215G. This machine is from the mid-1950s and it was made in Germany, hence the G. Um, all of these machines have a serial number that starts with PA. This one is PA194368. Um, so if you want to look that up on one of those websites, you can. But I'll tell you, it's in the mid-50s. It was made in Karlsruhe, Germany. And Singer... What, what is, it's, a, it's a class 15, a 1530 mechanism underneath with a very familiar oscillating shuttle. Um, a little basic stuff, but... This one has some really neat different features that Singer didn't have. Uh, it's got a feed drop right there. Bam. How easy is that? Um, it's got a little bit different. It's kind of a mixture of the German company. I can't remember. They bought a German factory and slowly switched it over from that maker to their own stuff. So there was like this weird mix of features from both manufacturers. For instance, this pedal, this foot control here, doesn't look like any other um, Singer pedal, but you know it matches the color scheme. The motor also is is an aftermarket thing because this would have been 220 volts in Germany. But all this stuff is original to this machine that we know of. It even has. Now, if you search on the web for pictures of this model, you'll a lot of times see them with this huge light that sticks off the top here, and, and like a like a FAF 130. And I'm wondering if that's what this little boss was for. But I'll pick the cam up to show you here. This one does have this was original to them is original to the machine. A brown singer light and it's at kind of a strange angle but <clears throat> it's intended to be that way uh, that's how the bracket fits you got your nice light here yeah and there's a, a look at the motor again everything matches very nice as um, long as I've got the cam in my hand I'll show you the marked throat plate with the cornering guides and the arrow that shows you which way to thread the machine. This one has its flat side facing the arm and you thread it from left to right. If you're a fan of Singer, you'll, you'll notice that that uh, tension looks very Singer. All the colors even looks like something off of 401A. But these thread guides are a bit heavier. And look at this face plate, this striated pattern but the dimensionality the way this is there's quite a piece of metal work there you can also see that it is a uh, straight stitch or in a um, low shank straight needle and here's the feed drop I was telling you about look at this big turnbuckle thing to hold it in the case also a very interesting looking case. I believe that this is solid oak. Um, and it's got these hooks on the end here. When we looked for pictures of this machine online, um, it showed it in its carry. It was like a soft sided suitcase thing. And this slid in there and there was an extension bed that, that would snap into this. And then there was a little box of attachments. Of course, like I said, any Singer um, or any these kind of feet, <laughs> straight stitch, vertical needle, short shank. That's what you get with that. Okay, and the light under here has got the the big heavy glass dealy who on it. Um, so let's thread it up and give it a sew. Just gonna show you the the standard class fifteen bobbin and bobbin case and. Bob and winder over here as usual. Top threading. There's goofy pigtail. Now you could also, this machine has one of those ultra deluxe 
features where you could put the thread down here and wind the bobbin this way while you were sewing up top. You know, if you're sewing curtains and you've already bought like four spools of thread, why not? Just keep them going. Okay, I'll put that up there. You know, this is all very um, singer type stuff. Unwind the, unclutch the wheel right there and push down the bobbin winder, which looks a little bit different. Oops, missed that. There we go. Click. And where's that foot controller over there? Step on the gas, Ma. There we go. This is going to help the thread there. I'm just going to wind a little bit. Not a whole lot. But you can hear how quiet that motor is. And uh, it may, this motor sounds... I said it's not a Singer motor. If you've sewn on as many sewing machines as I have, you get to know the sounds of each one. And this odd hybrid, the 215G from Germany, the Singer bought, because he had threads, just top threads, just like, just like, uh, but see, here's another weird thing. Usually when you see a Singer 15, right, where the bobbin goes in there, where's the tension? It's over here, right? But this is on the face, like a 66, or something so if you're a collector of singers you really might want to get this guy because it is it is an odd bird just just to collect it and we haven't even got to the good part yet which is sewing yay sewing you guys can probably see that i've got a bunch of um oh there it is a little thread guide thing not where I think it's gonna be there. Need better glasses. <laughs> so what are you guys sewing lately? Masks? Mm, there we go. This wasn't, again, it's one of those, not quite where I expected it to be, but once you figure it out, there it is. Okay, and then this one threads. From the outside in, left to right. Izquierda, derecho. Okay, top threading. Let's get our bobbin off of here. Clutch that guy back up. Get a little tail off. Your basic. Oops, look at it. There you go. Class 15 threading. If you have a 1591 or a 1588, you know it's not always the same. Okay, uh, this one goes out like that. And here's me trying to put that in. Ha <laughs> ha. You know what I like to do? I like to do it this way. I can't quite get my hand down through the door. So just click it in there. See, this is real easy to, to, uh, take off and, and clean out, but it's different than Singer's hook, right? Everything's the same, but different, because they copied a Singer design in the first place, and then the Singer bought the thing. Like I said, the one really cool thing they added that Singer didn't have was the feed drop here. Um, a lot of Singer machines, you have to go underneath and undo. I know on my 201, which is in this cabinet under here, you got to go underneath and undo the thread. Okay, turn the, but here's another thing that's same. Turn the wheel towards you. Always on Singer machines and ones that have been copied from Singer machines. Hand wheel always turns toward the operator. Can you name one that turns backwards? White rotary. And uh, pretty much any friction drive machine. So we've got one with a friction spool drive. Free Westinghouse, some of those guys. Okay, let's get a piece of fabric and hear how it sounds. Like I said, we've been sewing masks here, so I've got a bunch of tight cotton sheeting scraps left over. Lots of folks been getting into sewing again with our uh, need for masks and gowns. God bless them, everyone. You can get your machine going, whether you're sewing masks curtains for your new RV or whatever it is. Okay, let's hear it go. 
Then I'm going to show you something else really cool. Let's hear it go first. How smooth. Reverse. Forward. Now, I want you to see something. Stop the needle. And then I'm going to bring this over here again. This is another strange thing. Look. This is a singer shape, right? Look, a very familiar singer uh, forward and back, forward, reverse. And uh, this is how you can lock lock it to, so it's the same forward and back. It'd be nice if you're top stitching. But what I want you to notice here is look how it's marked. It's marked in is that centimeters? Centimeters. So <laughs> the old 6, 8, 10, 22 is not there. Okay, so it's, it's marked different, but what does that really mean? This thing can make one of the longest stitches. Look at the size of that stitch. Can you see that? That is just an incredibly long stitch. So, wow, what a neat feature that is for stitching heavy materials or where you want a really pronounced top stitch. So again, a really, really interesting feature with this machine. Let's fold the fabric over a few times. Oh, and, and as always, you know, stop with your uh, take-up lever all the way up. Let's fold this over a few times. See what that big, beautiful top stitch looks like through about 10 layers of this stuff. I like top stitching. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Backwards. Which you wouldn't want to do. Let's take it down to a smaller stitch length. Ooh, very nice. That motor has this really neat little whistle to it. It's a very strong little motor. Yeah. It's really good, top and bottom. Great machine. Let's uh, just stick another piece of fabric, another thing in there just for fun. I think I've got a size 12 needle in there, but we'll just put some denim in, just because we can. This is a denim spandex. I've been testing a lot of machines on it because it's kind of difficult. So this has got a pretty high lift on it too. Um, probably three eighths. Yeah, three eighths. Okay. So let's just keep that in there. Bring her down. Up here, there's not a patchomatic, but you do have screw for for pressure on the foot. And let's let's put it down on a long stitch again. That big beautiful four centimeters or four stitches per centimeter or I don't quite know maybe one of our Canadian or British or Australian or Indonesian people folks that you Mexi Mexicans tell us um, what four is I have to get out my measuring tape oh wow this is pretty like I said a straight stitch machine if you're doing a lot of work that requires a straight stitch top stitching all the decorative stuff from like you know heirloom sewing wow 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 top and the back that same v-shape yeah so i'm gonna just recommend the heck out of this machine it's it's quiet it's uh strong it's a very interesting piece of singer history and uses the regular bobbins and needles and all the good stuff um we did not refinish the base uh, if you want to do some golden oak howards on that or if you want to paint it something it's it's a beautiful piece of solid oak wood and it's even got these neat hand holds in the end so you can pick it up <laughs> this is what i call a pino machine p-i-n-o portable in name only it weighs about 40 pounds but you know what it stays real stable on this table when I'm running it fast. 
Okay, folks, if you're interested in this wonderful Singer 215G, kind of an odd bird, a hybrid of Singer stuff and a German manufacturer, uh, get, get in contact with us here and uh, we'll let you take it home. Because I've never actually seen one of these before, so if you like odd birds, pick it up. Bye.